What happens when a star runs out of its fuel? First of all, paradoxically, it grows to a million times its original size. You see, when the core of a star runs out of hydrogen, it starts contracting under the weight of its own gravity. But some hydrogen fusion continues in the upper layers. While the core contracts, it heats up. This causes the upper layers of the star to heat up too and expand. The radius of the star increases. As the star grows, it engulfs any matter, even its own planets, in its wake. Astronomers have watched stars right before or straight after swallowing entire planets, but until recently, they have never seen the process itself. Scientists from different universities have reported that for the first time in history, they've observed a star swallowing a planet. And this tragic event happened not somewhere in a faraway galaxy, but in our own Milky Way, some 12,000 light years away from us. Astronomers spotted an outburst from a star, which is around 0.8 to 1.5 times the mass of our Sun, near the eagle-like constellation Aquila. It became over 100 times brighter than usual in a mere 10 days, and after that, it quickly faded away. Even more interesting, this white-hot flash was followed by a longer-lasting signal that was also colder than the first flash. And this combination, my friend, could only mean one thing. The star engulfed a nearby planet. What planet was it? Astronomers believe it could be a boiling hot world from 1 to 10 times the mass of Jupiter. Such planets are also called hot Jupiters. They're giant exoplanets similar to the Jupiter we have in our solar system that need less than 10 days to orbit their stars. The planet we're talking about had been gradually spiraling toward the star until it was pulled into its atmosphere and, eventually, into the core of the perishing star. This galactic feast happened between 10,000 and 15,000 years ago when the star was about 10 billion years old. And given its respectable age, the swallow itself happened lightning fast in one fell swoop. This is very different from other hot Jupiters, which were quite delicately nibbled by their stars. Astronomers aren't sure if there are any other planets orbiting this star, perhaps at a safer distance. But even if there are, thousands of years will probably pass before they become the star's main course or dessert. In any case, now that astronomers know what they should search for, they're going to be on the lookout for more cosmic gulps. Because one day, our planet, as well as part of our solar system, will suffer the same fate. Everything around us will be gone in a flash. But you may relax and breathe out. It won't happen for another 5 billion years. That's when the sun is supposed to burn out and expand so much that it will swallow the inner planets of the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. If people manage to colonize some other world by that time, which should be at least 10,000 light years away from Earth, they would be able to observe this catastrophe. The sun would suddenly become much, much brighter, and it would eject some material into space. It would swallow several planets, including Earth, before nonchalantly setting back to what it was. But stars are not the only things in the universe that swallow other space objects. There's another kind of cosmic monsters that munch on everything, even light. Have you guessed? Right, I'm talking about ruthless black holes, but what is more interesting, they not only devour stuff, but also seem to spit it out. Not so long ago, scientists found out that the supermassive black hole at the center of our home Milky Way galaxy seems to be leaking. Why is it a game changer? Because it might mean that this black hole, called Sagittarius A asterisk, whose mass is 4.1 million times the mass of our sun, isn't a sleeping giant as previously thought. It might still be active and this leakage may be the whole hiccuping while swallowing clouds of gas. During the research, the team of astronomers used the Hubble Space Telescope. It helped them spot a jet that looked like a blowtorch. It was pushing into clouds of hydrogen at the center of our galaxy. The jet seemed to spew gas like a hose directed into a pile of sand. This often happens around active black holes, surrounded by the material, pulled toward them by their immense gravitational pull. Some of this material gets into the black hole, but a small part of it gets swept outward by powerful magnetic fields. The research suggests that when a giant gas cloud gets too close to our supermassive black hole, it gets swallowed, and then the hole belches mini jets of matter. Fermi bubbles might be the result of the belches that happened around 2 to 4 million years ago, 
But recently, scientists have discovered another giant glowing bubble of hot gas. It aligned with the jet stretching for 35 light years or more from the supermassive black hole. Astronomers suspect that the jet could have plowed into this bubble of gas and inflated it. Now I'll tell you something even creepier. There seem to be black holes that might be eating each other. Well, kind of. They're actually trying to share their meal at the moment. But who knows what will happen in the near future. But let me go into detail. Astronomers have spotted two supermassive black holes, feasting on the cosmic material of two merging galaxies in distant space. These giants have been located with the help of the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array of Telescopes, also known as ALMA. These telescopes are in northern Chile's Atacama Desert. Scientists originally used them to watch two merging galaxies located about 500 million light years away from Earth. Astronomers have also noticed that two gigantic black holes were growing alongside each other not far from the center of the coalescing galaxy, UGC 4211. Apparently, these black holes came across each other when their host galaxies collided. One of the black holes is around 200 million times the mass of our Sun, and the other is a bit smaller, about 125 million times the mass of our star. Even though they aren't visible directly, the black holes are surrounded by bright clusters of warm, glowing gas and stars. All of this has been tugged close by the black hole's gravitational pull. Times will pass, and these black holes will start circling each other. And eventually they will collide, creating one, probably even bigger black hole. Scientists have been observing these black holes across multiple wavelengths of light, and have come to the conclusion that they are kinda unique. They're located the closest to each other astronomers have ever seen. The distance between them is a mere 750 light years, which astronomically speaking, is just next door. Even more exciting, this distance is close to the limit of what modern technologies can detect. Interestingly, such ginormous merges are more typical for distant galaxies. This makes it harder for Earth-based telescopes to see them. But the sensitivity of ALMA helped astronomers observe those bright and compact regions where matter swirls around black holes. Imagine how surprised astronomers were when instead of one black hole, they saw two of them, munching on the dust and gas stirred up by the massive space merger. The most important thing about this discovery is that it may mean that such black hole binaries are likely to be much more common than we previously thought. And if pairs of black holes are so common, it might make it easier for us to study gravitational waves that occur when black holes collide. Such waves are also known as ripples in space-time. If we talk about the recently discovered pair of black holes, it might still take them several hundred million years to crash into each other. But by observing their behavior, scientists can figure out how many binary black holes that are about to collide exist in the universe. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.